What do you want now? I've come to help you remember what you've lost. Don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about, okay? You woke up from your crystal sleep with God's voice in your ear. He said you had to be the savior. But part of what made you lightning was missing, leaving a big empty hole in your heart. Yeah, that's how it feels. It's like I've forgotten something important, something that I need. Huh, really? I thought you'd deny it. But it's okay. I'll help you remember. Indestructible crystal. Even in the sea of chaos, it never loses its shine. I will become an eternal epitaph. Your memory will survive for eternity within a crystal tomb. This shall be my legacy and my atonement. But most of all, my final hope. You wanted to protect her, so you fell into that crystal sleep. You became a tomb for a memory, a moment frozen in time, with Sarah's soul cocooned inside. So tell me, Lightning, where do you think Sarah is now? Yes. I remember now. She was there, in my heart. I had her memories. They were inside me. I took them into the crystal. She was with me then. We should have been together the whole time. Right. Now you're catching on. So, the hole in your heart? Sarah's soul. That's what I'm missing. And you know who took it out, don't you? Benavelza did when he woke you up to do his bidding. He must have messed with your memories, too and tried to make you forget about it. And so he had the perfect motivation, or should I say hostage. He's gonna hold on to her until I've done what he wants. Oh, I don't know if he thought it out that far. He's not very good with human emotions, that god of yours. Maybe he just threw her soul away and let it be swallowed up by the chaos. But he promised me. He said as long as I did what I was told, he'd bring Sarah back to me. If he lied, then I don't care if he is a god. I'll destroy, destroy him. him. <laughs> now that's more like the old lightning. But do you really think you can take on a god? Well, I wouldn't bet against me. I might have found a way to shut him down. A last resort if all else fails. <laughs> You've been brewing up contingency plans. Sneaky, Lightning. Very sneaky. I haven't made up my mind yet. This world is finished. Soon it'll be gone forever. And Benevelza is the only one who can build us a new one. When he's done, then I'll decide. So you'll play his game for as long as it takes to build the new world. Then you'll sit in judgment on him, you'll betray him and destroy him and steal the new world he labored to build. Is that your plan? It, turning on God and making him a pawn in your own game? It's audacious. Oh, but little Hope is going to be so disappointed. He really does trust you, you know. And you're going to betray him. Oh, you did think about that, didn't you? You turn on God, you turn on Hope. Are you ready for that? Do you have it in you to fight him? Are you really prepared to kill Hope? <laughs> You think I'm not? You answered a question with a question. That's an evasion. <sighs> Got ya. But it's not a big deal. It looks like hope and talks like hope, but it isn't hope anymore. Are you saying he's a fake? Sorry, but the only fake I know is Sarah. <sighs> Look, if you're gonna talk nonsense, this conversation is over. I've got better things to do. Fine, Lightning. Let me make it all clear. 
Look around you and see the lies. The Sarah you talk to is a lie. Hope in his Ark is a lie. How long is it going to take before you wake up? Before you realize that maybe, just maybe, you're a lie too. 